Hello, I'm Elizabeth Ashford and I love rigid heavel weaving. Whether it's on the sampalette loom, the knitter's loom or the rigid heavel loom, they are just so quick and easy to warp and weave. I make table mats, cable runners, shawls and scarves and fabric for garments. The looms and the accessories you can get with them, all the reed sizes, the very dent reed, the second heddle kit, the freedom roller, all the techniques you can do on the rigid heddle, and of course using all the beautiful yarns that are available, gives the weaver such freedom to make really beautiful and unique homeware and fashion items. In the 2017 issue of The Wheel magazine, I feature a table runner with a really attractive surface design called Peruvian Diamonds. There are full instructions in the Wheel magazine, but today I want to show you how I make these diamonds. Let's do it. For my table runner, I chose a KL3 loom and a 15 DPI reed. I warped it using our lovely new cotton in 5x2. Pattern stick A is at the back. In fact, I attached it with uh, rubber bands. Pattern stick A lowers the supplementary warp below this background colour. I then insert pattern stick B by raising the supplementary warp threads above. This is a hand-dyed silk boucle. The supplementary warp was tied to the front of the loom. The middle pair of supplementary warp threads was placed in the middle of the reed and three other pairs to the right and three to the left, each five slot threads apart, tied to the front and weighted at the back. To begin the pattern, we need to raise the supplementary warp above the background fabric with pattern stick B. Now I'm going to weave five rows of the background fabric. Use the shuttle to beat down. We're now going to open the diamond with the cardboard strip, it's easier to see. So with the reed in the lower position and pattern stick B behind the reed, take the first of your supplementary warp threads and deflect it two slot threads to the right. Reinsert your shuttle under five of the blue warp threads. Take the second of the first pair of supplementary warp threads and the first of the second pair, we insert the shuttle under five threads. Continue this way across the shed. Now that the diamond is open, weave five background rows. We've now woven five rows. Now I'm going to close the diamond. So I'm going to remove pattern stick B. And with pattern stick A, I'm going to lower the supplementary warp threads down. In this position, I'm going to weave one row. Now you can see your first diamond. So after weaving one row, you need to reinstate 
pattern stick be. So with your fingers, just raise the supplementary warp and insert the pattern stick. Now we weave five rows of background fabric. So we've completed one row of diamonds and five more rows of background fabric. I hope you enjoy this pattern and all the other projects and patterns in issue 29 of The Wheel. Happy weaving. Bye for now.